can be a part of the action. To bid or buy, you must be registered at signedbysuperstars.com. Your order, invoice, and tracking information will be stored within your account. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to auction! Hey everybody, welcome to the show. We are live with the Blue Meanie, and I swear to God, I did not wear a blue shirt on purpose, and Mike's wearing a blue shirt, Meanie's wearing a blue shirt, he doesn't have blue hair today, yeah. and his girlfriend's not wearing uh, anything. She's not naked, but she's not wearing anything <laughs> blue. Anything. A little bit of blue. Oh, nice, nice. So guys, welcome, welcome. We got plenty of new merchandise for the Blue Meanie. Uh, if you want to show them some 8x10s that you guys brought from home. Uh... This one's a special one to me, uh, taken by the legendary George Napolitano. One uh, of the best. Me at MLW. Uh, then there's, I got this one as a George DeHaney special. Ah, yes. My one and only appearance at AEW. Right. Which I love this this shot. And then I got these two uh, custom art ones from my boy uh, Nick Clark. Nick Clark Art. Very cool. Art, you know, uh, he's on uh, Instagram at WrestlePop. Yeah, and these are not on the website. No. So if you guys want to order the, any of the ones, the MLW one, the AEW one, or the two art ones, you just got, got to let me know, and we're going to invoice you for them, because they are not on the website. We also have another item. Oh, yeah. Hold yeah, on. we have another couple 8x10s, too, that are not on our website. If you uh, want these, let me know. Meanie Simmons, when I was kissed. I like that. And then, last but not least... Something I forgot I had. Uh, me and Steve Richards. Awesome. Nice awesome. little black and white. So we're all here. Somebody wants to know what's the best thing Paul Heyman ever taught you. Uh, I, I was just talking about this the other day. It's just I learned timing. Well, micro rollers too. I, I, I learned a lot of about timing and take your time and let the moment breathe. Yeah. You know, it's you know when you're a young talent. You're always, and if you don't get an immediate reaction right away, you, you tend to rush, you know, and, and, and go through things. And that's when you start making mistakes. But if you just, if, you, if you're a young talent out there watching this, if you feel like you're going too slow, go slower. You yeah. Know? And just let things happen. You know, you watch The Rock. I was watching The Rock last night. Well, I've been watching the last few weeks. You see him sit there and you see him go to say something and he hears the crowd reacting and then he, he, he dials it back. Yep. And lets the crowd do their thing, you know. And so it's my, it's, you gotta let the crowd react, let it breathe, don't rush through things, you know, just take your time. Yeah, all invoices do need to get paid immediately for this one, uh, especially if you're picking some stuff that he has brought. In fact, you got micro brawlers, extremely rare micro brawlers for $60. If you guys want a micro brawler signed by the Blue Meanie, he's bought a ton of them here. And, uh, yeah, so if anybody wants a micro brawler, just put them in the chat right now. These uh, micro brawlers are super rare because, A, uh, they were supposed to make this look blue meanie they're with the ponytail, but they accidentally did the full hair blue meanie. So photo doesn't match. And then also they no longer do this style of micro brawler, this packaging. The packaging is way different now. Yeah. And if uh, $60 is a good deal. Uh, if you look online, you'll see them for way more. But I think they're over a hundred dollars. I've seen yeah, them. Yeah, you could get these directly from me, signed. However you like. So if anybody wants a micro brawler, put it in the chat, and they will be sixty dollars. Let's do Erica's first. Eric sure. wants to sign in white paint pen. Okay. All right, so, Erica. Here's your poster. I'm gonna put these down here. There you go. All right. Put yeah. that way. Right there. I am right. <laughs> Yep. Boop. Cool. Any behind the scenes stories on working with Mike Mitchell? Who wrote that? I'm James Pritchard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm reading that like it's real. Here you go, Erica. Question What current female wrestler will shine in ECW and the BWO? For me, Shotzi, because you have blue hair and meanie and green hair like Shotzi. She's 
she would be awesome. She'd be awesome. I mean, me, uh, Stevie and Nova did an honorary induction for uh, Blue Pants. Right. Leva Bates when we were at the uh, one of the conventions. She was there, you know, Blue Pants, Blue Word Order. You yeah, know. there you go. But Shotzi's just, you know, she'd be great as well. She would be awesome. This is, uh, uh, I guess you met Jason before, maybe in our show? That yeah. It could be the arena, Jason Curtin. I basically live there now. So At the arena? Yeah. <laughs> so does Mike. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and uh, just get this signed in white paint pen. He wants it. Personalized or just signed? What's that? Uh, I think Jason just wants it just signed by you. Sure. Nothing personalized. Sure. You have a little dabber? Yeah. Yep. I don't want to ruin anything. There you go. I remember, some of you guys were just dabbing on our, our, our gimmick here. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. You can meet the meanie, uh, Corey. He's going to be at Battleground Championship Wrestling. In fact, he's hosting our ECW show. Yes, sir. And that's uh, in a couple weeks, April the... Uh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. It's going to be an awesome, awesome show. I cannot wait. I'm, it's going to be a... This week. ECW show is going to be better than the first ECW show yeah. we put on. Tribute to the extreme. Not It'll a, be the first sequel that's uh, good. Yes. Most sequels stink, but <laughs> ours will be good. All right. Brian Westcott. Do you know where you're at in this book? I'm in there a few times. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's Let me see. see where he wants it. I think Brian actually wrote me a note. He might want it in the ECW section. Let me see. Just ECW? Because I'm in there like four times. Yeah, I believe just. Because he only paid for one. Okay. Let's see. Um, Yep, you can sign in the ECW section. And that's cool for that one. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, we'll do Guys, it. he also has some ring-worn items. We're going to show them in a little bit. Yep, yep. Stuff I forgot I had. No, it's cool. I like the shirt too. Yeah, that shirt's got special special significance to me. Sorry. Yeah, first, we can definitely talk about it. First day with the new mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is gonna be for Stacy Kruth. Thank you for uh, this, Stacy. Uh, same. ECW yeah, e I guess the ECW section. Sure. What is it about Philly that breeds so many smart fans? I just think. Philadelphia wrestling fans are a microcosm of Philadelphia sports fans. Yep. If you listen to any old head that you know knows anything about sports, they know all the stats, this, that, and the other thing, and translate it over to um, translate it over to pro wrestling. You know, uh, the same uh, fans that you know chant that you fucked up, you fucked up, or the descendants of people who threw snowballs at Santa or boots Santa. Yeah. Santa just, very passionate, and uh, it just comes through the camera, you know. Somebody said uh, they met you at, uh, actually it was Brian Westcott. He met you at Cauliflower Alley. Awesome. I need to get back out there. I keep forgetting that they they used to do it in April. Now they do it in August, and it keeps throwing me off. But, uh, <laughs> it's a, if uh, you want to do something really cool, join the Cauliflower Alley. Uh, all the money goes to benefiting wrestlers who are in need so right god forbid something to happen to me and i needed to go to the hospital or whatever i'm a member they would help take care of my uh expenses uh stacy i have not invoiced you yet for the uh, meanie signing your book he only signed it in one spot i don't know if you want he said he's in there like three other times yeah do you want him to sign your uh book the other three times let me know bwo blue meanie job squad oh three times cool and then the ecw it's section four times yeah Hey guys, Rob, is there a cutoff point for to get tickets for Battleground? Nope, you just get them the day of the show. Uh, Meet a curious question after some ECW shows. What was the best pizza restaurant to eat after an ECW show? Depends on where you go. In South Philly, I like the city pizza. Right. Yeah. City pizza is pretty much the, the deal. You know? yeah. uh, Stacy, that was your book. We just uh, we just signed your book. I just didn't invoice you for it. Somebody wants to know your website. Uh, go to mindofthemeanie.com. That's for my podcast, which drops every Monday morning. Me and my co-host, Adam Bernard, uh, do an hour, hour and a half podcast that drops every Monday. We talk about everything, music, movie, sports, pro wrestling, and we have tons of useless knowledge at Mind of the Meanie. So go to Oh, somebody wants to know, the book that you just signed, did you do it in the BWO with the sign? Wait, did he do BWO with the signature? Uh, nope, I can. We could we could get that book for you again, Stacy. One second. Can't wait to meet you at Battleground. Should be a great time. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. Legit, my favorite event. You know, it's awesome. We plan. She, Mrs. Me plans all her looks around it. And, right. You know, uh, it's it's just it's fun. It's just like a long day. It's a thirteen hour day, but it's it is so, a long day. It's so cool. I mean, it's longer for you, I'm sure. That uh, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's She's so long. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Best cheesesteak in Philly, somebody asked. Oh, throw a, throw a rock and you'll hit a good cheesesteak place. My favorite was on uh, South Street, Jim Steaks. I think they moved, right? No, they had a fire. No, right. And then they didn't. They never came back? No, they're, 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 they're rebuilding. Same spot? Yep. Oh, nice. I didn't come back yet, but... Oh, wow. I love that place. That place a is new great. Pl- a new place that I just recently tried that's excellent. And you know a place is good when they don't deliver? Uh, Angelo's on 9th Street, South Philly. Yeah, I never heard Probably. of it. It's good. Angel they is really good. they bake yeah. their own bread. They make pizza, but they're cheesesteaks. Let's go and come back. They, <laughs> yeah, I'm they, starving. They were the ones that like they wouldn't deliver to the opposing World Series team. Oh wow! That's because they don't deliver. They're right. Just, you know they thought they could be special. Oh, yeah. we're a baseball team. No, yeah. no, no, thank you. Is cosplay? <laughs> yeah, cosplays walked them at Battleground. Just no weapons. Yeah, just no weapons. Of course. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Your favorite moment in ECW? Man. Uh, I was so fortunate to do so many cool things between BWO and KISS, but ultimately I would have to say McFoley's farewell when he brought uh, me and Stevie out. You know, he, he, he built it up like he's bringing Paul and Todd out. Right. If you read Todd Gordon's book, he thought he was talking about Paul and Todd, and they were, Paul and Todd were about to come out to the ring, and he said, the blue man needs Stevie Richards, and then we come <laughs> out and do the Rockettes dance and Fardo strut out of the East Sub Arena. But, you know, Mick was so kind to have us a part of that, that Mick legitimized us in the, the eyes of the uh, ECW fans, you know, because he, he didn't have to do that, but he had us. Yeah, that was awesome. And if you watch that, he's wearing his uh, Mankind boots in the ring. He's breaking in his Mankind boots. <laughs> right before he went off. Yes. This is for Marshall Thompson. We're just going to go ahead and sign that one. Uh, what color? Um, I guess to match it with silver. Uh, silver. And then, Mike, there's three other pictures over there from our show. Yeah. So I gotta add them onto the spreadsheet. Or two. Uh, wasn't there three? Well, I don't think you wanted the uh, the one where you get the choke slam. Oh, so it's just okay. You're right. It was just two pictures. So I gotta write that down so Mimi gets his cut. Two pics. Get my cut. Yes. <laughs> Gimmick. Get some color. Yeah. Take some aspirin. Do a <laughs> shot. Um. Somebody asked, uh, let's see, I was contacting WrestleCade or WrestleCon for years doing a Spain's WrestleCade or WrestleCon in the would you love to do that meanie. Would you like to go to Spain? Spain? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's one of the few countries. I was supposed to go there. I want to say it was Spain. This is the show The Ultimate Warrior did. Oh, yeah. And something got screwed up with communications, and I, I missed out on that. But I would love to go to Spain. My uh, Spain's on my bucket list. As well as uh, Japan and Australia. Australia is that plane ride I could never. I don't know. I'd, I'd have a mental breakdown. I think my fam my family almost moved to Australia when I was a kid. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, my mom had a boyfriend. And he had to move back home to take care of his mom, and she was, she sat me and my sister down, and we went to Australia. And we're like, where's Australia? No, <laughs> that would be crazy. But well, now I'm kicking myself, kind of. Yeah, you would have been able to play with the koalas and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Guys, we have four or five of these left. He signed them the last time he was here. We're doing these for 80 bucks. If anybody wants a Legends of Professional Wrestling Blue Meanie figure, these are 80 In case you just joined us, we have the Micro Brawlers for $60. These are 60 bucks. Very rare. Hard That's to get. That's a good deal. Yeah. Really good deal. We got the 8x10s that are on our website. There's eight different 8x10s to choose from on our website. We got 11x17 on our website. You can order all of these to be signed. And Meanie brought five different 8x10s that are not on the website. Uh, we'll show them again later. And we got some ring gear. Uh, we're going to start off showing um, the, the the shirt, the half shirt. Why don't we show this and you could give the background to it. Uh, this half shirt is very cool. It's a BWO Bob Wire box uh, inspired by the time Hulk Hogan came out with the NWO Bob Wire shirt. Uh, I wore this shirt on my one and only Ring of Honor appearance what's what's ring of honor uh, i don't know it's just uh, oh i've heard of that th- this upstart uh, uh, uh i was i was a surprise on ring of honor I wore this shirt cool. I, wore, I wore this as close as the last mlw show i did you know this shirt's done me good for the last couple of years and it's time to move on to something different and i figured if i'm going to get rid of it might as well come here and, and share with you guys but i wore this in the last ring of honor show before the the lockdown uh, and I've been wearing it on all the shows uh, coming up. Uh, actually, I'm wearing it in this photo right here. Oh, wow. So, Perfect. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's a very cool shirt. Uh, ring worn. Wore it for a couple years. 
and uh, hopefully it finds a good home. If nice. anybody wants it, it's uh, we're gonna open the bidding for the uh, shirt at two hundred dollars, and he will sign it. He'll write ring worn on there, whatever yep. you want inscribed on there, and we're gonna start that off at like two hundred dollars. Yeah. So if anybody wants to start bidding on that, we are taking bids for the ring worn T-shirt. All right, we got two other pictures here. We have this one right here for Glenn Latchaw. Sure. We're just gonna sign your name. Uh, with any color? Um, any color. Yeah, any color is fine. Oh, we also don't have these on the website, guys. Anybody wants a BWO picture? I don't think Joe put this up on the website. We have an 8x10 version, and we have an 11x14. These are only $20, and we'll do the... 11x17. Um, oh, 11x17 pictures we'll do for like 30 bucks yeah. if you want one. So just say BWO picture if you want one. Yeah. All right, we have another one here as well. Oh, was that the only one we had? Oh, no, there's another one here too. There we go. There we go. Mike, I don't know who gets what. Oh, high spot. <laughs> yes. We don't Pack plug drop down, hit the camera. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Again, the uh, the shirt you just short saw was a Ring of Honor t-shirt. Yeah, I wore that Ring of Honor. I've worn that everywhere I've wrestled for the last couple of years. Right. With the exception of the one time I did AEW, which Mrs. Meany made me a one-of-a-kind <laughs> that I'll keep forever. But, yeah. All right. Up next is for Jason Breen, photo number four. Wish okay. we could black out the other half, but we can't. <laughs> We're gonna ho uh, personalize this to Jason. To Jason. Uh, what color? Um, no color specified. Whatever you want. Gotta do another one. Of what? He shipped one out already. Of you and him. Okay. Okay. So there is three. Yeah. Okay. So let me see what I got here. Let me. We'll go back to that one. This will show up on the uh, shirt there. To Jason. Um, yep, to Jason. Carlos from uh, Battleground, who does our filming, said, It's always a thrill to see Meanie dance at Battleground. Oh, very kind, very kind, my friend. What's up, Jordan Carson? How you doing? Uh, I wouldn't do BWO for that one because I was not BWO. Cool. There we go. Thank you, Jason. Uh, I don't have the name tags. Do you want me to tell you then? Oh, let me go grab that yes. little paper here. I'll give you some name tags. Let me get my dabber. Meanie for Hall of Fame. Somebody said that. Hey, man. Jordan, we <laughs> just did your picture. I'm available. <laughs> Jason Bean. All right. Richard Samuels. We got the art back there. Yeah. Yep. Guys, check out this piece of art. This is on the website for you to order. Very cool. All right. That one is for Richard Samuels, blue paint pen, top left corner, Blue World Order ECW. So, uh, for who, who's it for? Um, Richard Samuels. Oh, never mind. I thought that just sprayed all over. And we're going to write uh, Blue World Order ECW. Okay. Can I write a little inscription? Yeah, there? whatever you want. He, he won't mind. Richard. Since I have the real estate. <laughs> yeah, that's a big, big poster. Say hello to the blue guy. Somebody uh, wants to buy. Frank just asked me from yesterday during our signing with the dude from Chucky. I'll get the signed NECA. What is that? NECA. NECA. The figure. NECA figure. The which guy's one. Which figure? Okay. So that's sold? Okay. This here? Yep. Okay, oh, cool. You need that? Yeah, I'm just going to give it to. Or am I going to put it here? You know what that Thank you. Or Richard, say hello to the blue guy. Awesome. BWO ECW. That's for the Chucky. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, Richard. Chucky, he was in a lot of movies. He was in... Uh, yeah, I didn't know he was in One Flew Over the Cuckoos. Now, yeah. what character did he play in that movie? Uh, Bill, uh, Billy. Ah, see, I Spoiler didn't... alert, the guy, who, the guy who kills himself. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. I was going to watch that movie tonight. <laughs> wow. How, wow. Watch it in reverse. There's a happier ending. <laughs> <laughs> Photo number one for Spencer Nichols. We're going to do Spencer? this one right here. And to Spencer, stay blue, BWO for life. Blue paint pen. Yeah, this, uh, this is one, uh, the photo I call. Uh, <laughs> you sure about that? Huh. The, the comedian goes, ah, right, you sure about that? <laughs> do you guys ever do a Monster Mania just to walk around or anything or no? Eh, it's been a while. Right. It's been a while. Uh, I'm sorry, who is this for? I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, it's cool. Um, to Spencer. Two sponge. Yep, stay blue, BWO for life. Somebody said there's a blue mini cosplayer at Limitless Wrestling in Maine every show. <laughs> awesome. Stay blue. Um, 
BWO for life. Okay. Was Meany ever called Blue Boy? Yeah, that was in uh, when I came back to ECW. And that was just because I lost 160 pounds and uh, I really didn't look the same. You know, I was like, hey, Paul, can I come back? And it's like, you don't look like the Meany. He said that to you? Yeah, he right. said and then uh, after <laughs> so, ECW closed and all, I went back to the Indies at the Blue Medium. Promoters were getting crap because I was too skinny to be the Blue Meanie. Did so. that make a, did that play like a mental toll on you at all? Did you like because you got into good shape? Like, did you say shit? What do I got to do? Or? It, it was weird because every person who told me my whole life, man, you right. you, you should really lose weight, you know. And I lost the weight, and they were like, man, you don't look right. You don't. You don't look the same. And I'm just like, what do you people want me to do? What you, right. What are you sick? Yeah, yeah, I would get that too. Right. It was after Jasmine, so who knows? Oh, right, 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 you know, <laughs> just joking. Right, I just yeah, had yeah. to make that point. But, uh, she, she screwed us over. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like, and that's at the point where I, I learned I, I got to start living my life for who I am. Right. Like, I'm not my heaviest that I ever was, but I'm not light, you know? So I'm at a comfortable weight now where I can yeah, maintain course. the look. But. You know, I, every time I get a checkup, my, my blood pressure's good, my blood's good, everything's good. I just got to keep up appearances. No, I hear you. you know? Somebody's, oh, yeah, we did, we'll show it again. He, uh, Erica wants to see your, the shirt, the ring-worn t-shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This and it's at a great price. Nobody's bidding on it, so you can probably grab this. Yeah, man, snag this. Uh, if you watch the uh, Ring of Honor, uh, I was in the Battle Royal for Ring of Honor. There's it it was me, Gangrel, I did a, a dance with the uh the beer guys. Right. Uh, the beer world order guys or whatever. Uh, and then I wore this every show after that. Uh, and as of last week, I was on MLW TV wearing this this exact shirt. It's in great, great shape. I'll sign it however you want. It doesn't stink or anything. No, it doesn't stink or anything. <laughs> but it, but it'd be, this would be nice up in the frame. Uh, I'll sign it real nice and tight for you. You, know. you actually have a like, good $200 beer too. Bag. Erica, if, if, if you if you buy it, I'll throw in the shirt of uh, this photo of me wearing it. There you go, Erica. You'll you'll get a signed photo and a signed shirt to, you know, as proof that I wore it. So cool. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna do them tomorrow on the show. I love watching these things when, even when I'm not doing them. Logan Wright, I don't think I got your order yet, unless Joe didn't put it up on the spreadsheet yet. So he'll be putting that up in a little bit. All right. What's up, Ben? I see the chat there. Let's see. All right. Matt Zadell. Logan Wright was one of the ones up here. Oh, okay. Yes, we already did yours already. Yep. Gotcha. 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 Okay. Um, this one is going to be to Matthew. And then anything else you want to write? Uh, to Matthew. Is Meanie sticking around to check out the signed child's play items? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> It's not ECW ring worn. It is Ring of Honor, MLW. Yeah. Uh, every appearance I've done, you know, every, I've been wrestling that shirt for the last five years, six years. Hey, Rob, Meanie didn't sign my picture as Jason, did he? Uh, for Jordan Carson, personal 8x10. I don't think so. Jordan, did you want him to personalize it? To Matthew, J-O-B-1-2-3, the blue meanie. This is uh, how we signed it. We did it right there. Thank you, sir. Jordan, let me know if you want it personalized. It can all be done to your likeness. <laughs> meanie, tell me the most emotional fan. What's this one for Matt? Matt was just the last one we just did. Okay. Get it together, guys. Yeah, <laughs> God damn it. You got Sean Bennett behind yours. Sean Bennett. Sean Bennett was the one that said to Shane. Sean Bennett Ramsey. No, it's Spencer. Okay, this one we are going to put to Jordan. To Jordan? Yep. Yep, yep. Let's see. Are you good, Mike? There's no Shane up here. Shane Bennett, photo number two. It's a two Shane, BWF for life, the blue guy. Okay. We didn't do that one? No, we got Spencer, Matthew. No, no. All right, we'll do Shane again. Oh, uh, while we're here, you see me wearing a shirt that says Meanie Mania. I'm having an event in South Philly yes. Thursday, April 4th at my favorite bar on the planet, McCusker's Tavern. 
from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. Meanie Mania. Come on out. Cost nothing again. 21 and over. We're going to have a lot of fun. Cost Mike will fun. be there. Yeah. I'll be there. I'll Please. Be there. I'll I'll you, be there. He came out to McCusker's. He had a great time. Uh, with Missy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who's this for? All right. Shane Bennett. To Shane. Didn't we just do this one? I no. think I just did. BWO for life. The blue guy. Matthew. Oh, it's Matthew. Can you show me Matthew so I make sure? It's the, what's Matthew's say? Oh, okay. Matthew. Okay, that's a good one. And there's not another one of that picture up there at all? Okay. So I have the attention span of a goldfish, so it's a good thing. It's all good. To, so this is for Shane? Uh, yep. The, to Shane, S-H-A-N-E. BWO for life, the blue guy. Do I, did I give you a sticker yet for Shane? I got one. Okay, cool. BWO for life? Um, to Shane, BWO for life, the blue guy. Okay. Uh, somebody asked where the mini mania is going to be at. McCusker's Tavern, 2601 South 17th Street, the corners of 17th and Chunk. Uh, awesome little dive bar called McCusker's. Uh, everybody I bring there always has a great time. Um, we're going to be there from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m., but it's your perfect place to go. No matter if you're going to Lincoln Financial Field, Wells Fargo, pre-show, post-show, all weekend, eight minutes from the stadium. Are you going to be there all weekend? Or um, just one night? Most likely. Most oh. likely I'll be there. Okay. All the <laughs> it's home base. It's going to be like Norm that's from Cheers base. when he walks in. I am. Meanie. Yes. Yep. They got their own table. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's such a good <laughs> uh, the blue guy? <laughs> I hate sitting at the table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody wants to know your uh, thoughts on the Vince scandal. Did he uh, ever shit on you? <laughs> not literally. Okay, good. Just figured. Uh, <laughs> that, is this good? The blue guy? Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to Shane BWO for life. The blue guy, right? Yep, Shane. And cool. not not the blue mania. Nope, it's the blue guy. Okay. You got it. Yeah, I, I, I'm staying away from that until all the facts are out. Exactly. Because how many times have... I've gone out there and go, oh, this, I get all riled up, and it turned out there's a twist. Right. And then Swerve. I, then, yeah. It wasn't looked, Vince who shit on, it was Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, just allegedly. Hey, boss. <laughs> all right, we're going to do a big 11 by 17 art, the big one, in white paint. Nice. And this is going to be for Tim Minkle. Guys, don't forget, you can order pictures right this second to get signed by the Blue Meanie. We got eight different... 8x10s. We have an 11 by 17 We also have four 8x10s that were not even shown on our website. Just two, Tim? Um, nope. We're just going to sign your name. Nothing personalized or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect. just your signature. Perfect. Yep. We got the uh, Micro Brawlers that are very rare, hard to get. These are $60 if you want one. And I'll sign those as well. Yep, he'll, he'll sign these. We have these available that are not on the website. I'll even sign this as 7-Eleven for free. <laughs> yep, we got this picture right here, not on the website, if you want this. He could sign it right in the bubble, which would be cool. That's what I do. Yep, <laughs> I'll sign it right in the bubble. What's that? Oh. We also have this one. If you want one, just tell us you wanted that one. Then uh, I have a uh, rare Stevie. And, that's uh, an awesome shot, guys. Stevie and Meanie. And that's a black and white. We also have the uh, the figure, the Legends figure. I got five left. These are 80 bucks. We also have, uh, all of this is not on the website, by the way. If you want any of this, just let us know in the chat. And we also have the uh, Ring Worn shirt from Ring of Honor, MLW, and a lot of other companies as well. For only $200, that'll sign and write Ring Worn on there. Yep. All right, Rob, where's the Ring Worn? Oscar, I'll show you. He wants to see it. He's a big ECW collector. Does, does he mean your Ring Worn? No, your, your <laughs> oh, Ring <okay>. Worn. <laughs> uh, well, here's, I got the... Uh, eight by tens, Joe. Eight by tens. I got this... Uh, half shirt, yep. which I've worn from Ring of Honor until last week. I also have... Check these out. Ring worn shoes, which I bought 2006. Oh, wow. And these lasted me until uh, like three years ago. And, and uh, just I, I've moved on to like a blue pair, but the, I've worn these. Everywhere. All over I've the world. seen you wear them before. All over the world. Uh, one PW in England. You, every indie you can imagine. I wore these bad boys. Uh, I retired them, so these could be yours. Uh, cool, pull, cool pair of uh, wrestling history. Right We're gonna start the shoes off at two fifty. Yeah. Two fifty. You get both shoes. Yep, um, yep. Somebody asked, uh, "Do you remember Big Tilly from TNA and Hardcore Justice yeah. in two thousand and ten? Yeah, that poor guy. He uh, T 
TNA uh, tried to book me for that to be uh, to be there with the BWO, and I was uh, already scheduled to go to California for Mrs. Meany's birthday vacation the next day. Right. All I said, could you re- help reroute my flight from? We were supposed to go from Philly to L.A. Can you reroute me from Philly, Florida, Florida, L.A.? They couldn't do it, so I was like, oh, I'm not missing out on my vacation. Oh, yeah. So they had Tilly, uh, who was a security dude, be the blue meanie, and he felt so bad. And I I heard the story about that, and I felt bad for him. So I got no ill will towards him. <laughs> he, 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 that was the spy he was given. He did it well, and uh, much respect to him. Yeah, Michael Davies, I'm not sure the timing of our event in correspondence with the Hall of Fame. Uh, I can't tell you if it's gonna if it's gonna end in time. Any of the cutoff shirts from ECW are? Nah, those have been. Sold. I got one, but I'm hanging on to it for right now. My very first uh, blue mini shirt. That I, That's I, awesome. I debuted. Oh yeah, it. I would definitely not sell that one. For I sure. lost it, and then somebody, Joel Gertner, found it for me somewhere. Oh wow! It disappeared from the locker room, and I got it back. And I was, you know, what? I'm gonna hang on to this for a little bit. Right. You know. Guys, anybody else want to grab an 8x10? We're here at the Blue Meanie. Have any questions, put it right in the chat. Um, yeah, man. Somebody asked if uh, who are your influences for the Blue Meanie character. Well, Raven gave me the character, and it was supposed to be based off the Yellow Submarine, uh, the Beatles cartoon. Right. And uh, in the beginning, I was pretty much the letter of the law when it came to that character. But eventually, when we start doing the parodies, uh, you know, you know, Blue Dust, Colonel Demini, uh, Baron von Stevie, yeah, uh, the Blue, Blue Mini Bloods, more of myself came out. And in my life, you know, besides pro wrestling, I loved stand up comedy. You know, George Carlin, you know, a lot of my facial expressions, like, right, right, you know, George Carlin, because he would do like something, say something goofy, and then, ah! <laughs> you know, uh, as far as meanie facial, you know, the blue meanie face like this, that's a nod to my grandfather, who I remember as a baby, he'd be looking at me in my, my playpen and making faces at me. And <laughs> I found a photo of me and him doing the face at the same time. That's but, awesome. That's classic. Yeah. But yeah, I've, I've always been a big fan of comedy. So any, you know, big physical type comedian, like like a Chris Farley or stuff like that. Just, right. You know, in ring, I, you know, I love guys like Bigelow and... You know, guys, big guys who could go and stuff like that. And, but as far as Blue Mini Carry, it, it just became an, a more pronounced version of myself. Any New Jack stories? Marshall Thompson would like to know. Man, New Jack was so cool. Like, New Jack was so misunderstood. You mm-hmm. know, I get where, you know, people were scared of him. But once you got to, once Jack allowed you into his world. Oh, yeah. He was the biggest sweetheart. And uh, there's times he looked out for me at, in ECW where he pulled me aside and, you know, give me advice and stuff like that. And I, there's times where I've heard, I've heard, I've heard him stick up for me, you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, we would be doing something in the ring, something goofy and be like, ah, they're just doing comedy. He's like, yeah, well, you know, right. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> he, he would see, he would stick up for me, Stevie and Nova, you know, just doing goofy stuff, you know, nothing malicious, but you know, right. Just, you know, and then me and him talked, you know, Maybe t- up until a couple of weeks right before he passed, uh, we were thinking about trying to do some stuff together, you know, just right to do things, you know, while, you know, the world was shut down, you know, online stuff, you know, and, uh, yeah, I, I still talk to his family. I'm trying to get him involved, you know, his legacy out there and trying to get him involved with other stuff, you know, so the family can, you know, do some stuff. That makes sense. We got an order for one of your pictures. Uh, can I get the eighth by 10 with the bubble? Yeah. Blue paint pen inscribed ECFNW. So guys, this is how we're going to do it. Perfect example. He brought these. These are not on the website. Like what Joe just did, just mention it in the chat and we're going to invoice you. I think Joe's going to invoice you right now. Very cool. Uh, so, um, is it right. personalized or just... Joe, do you want to personalize or you just want a signature and inscribed ECW FNW? Let me know. Do you want me to write ECFNW in this bubble and then sign the outside? Yeah, we'll see what he says. What, uh, what's he saying here? He said no thanks. Just uh, signature then. Just signature? All right. There you go. All right. We got a micro brawler we just sold. Nice. 
Here you go. ECFAW. Awesome, the awesome. Book. I love that. And give uh, Nick Clark a follow on Instagram. Nick Clark uh, at WrestlePop721. All right. We got a signed micro brawler. These are $60. These are not on the website, so if you want one, just say you want one. Very rare. All right. $60. Signed? Uh, Yep, we're going to sign it. Okay. Escobar. Related to Pablo Escobar. (laughs) Micro brawler. Not Ubas. Those fo- nah. those photos are twenty dollars, Logan. Those are only twenty bucks. The blue me. There you go. Thank you very much, Michael. Do you need a stick for that one? Yep, Michael Escobar. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you want one, Logan. Paul Heyman used to be- get happy behind me. He said he'd be parking lot at three a.m. while ready to a line of a few wrestlers yeah. to get happy. That's not true. I'm just reading stuff. This, this is an urban legend. That's not true. That's not true. I don't even know. Happy's is like pills? Or uh, I think. Or, yeah, yeah, I, 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 that's what I think. You're welcome, Joe. I saw. I just saw this comment there. Maybe. Uh, if it was a girl and it was at the hotel, yes. But nothing ever happened at the arena. He was too busy being a, directing yeah. promos 3 a.m. Exactly. Top of the travel lodge. That, that story's not true. The cylinder of sin. <laughs> uh, we're not going to talk about that one, Mike. Can I get one of those personalized to my son? All right, you got one, Logan. Which one? You still got to do it. We already did Tim Minkles. Wait, is there another one for Tim Minkle? I already did this one for Tim Minkle. Joe didn't see us do it. Um, we got to do this other one again. We got a bunch of them. Oh, this one? Yeah. Okay. Who's this for? Uh, this is one of the three out of the three pictures. Oh. It was just pre-sold. Cool. Yep. You're uh, just going to sign your name on it. Oh, just sign it? Yeah. Name. Sure, sure. Can you show Joe the 11 by 17 art that we did for Tim Minkle? Because Joe didn't see us doing it. 11 by 17? Do you have it up there, Mike? Yeah. I want to just show it on the camera, too. Here, Joe. Tim Minkle. 11 by 17. There you go, Joe. Where's Joe at? Joe is working from his girlfriend's house today. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's remote. All right. Um, he, you got to sign that one, too, right? Well, yeah, I'll sign it afterwards and all. Do you want to do it now real quick? I'll just do it really quick. Cool. Keep it uniform. Yeah. Why would you sign on a dark spot? It's not, it's not bad. It just came out dark. I'll sign it again later if you want me to. See, if it dries really bad, we'll just do it again. I'll do it in red. What's up, Steve Camp? All right, Logan Wright wants a personalized What's one seen? that you did 8x10 wise with the bubble. Oh, sure. Yep. And then... Uh, How's he wants his son? I mean, how does he want To it? my son, Gage. Like, G-A-G-E. Where did the mark go? Oh, sorry. Two gauge. Yep. Just two gauge, the blue meaning? Yeah. Logan right. Eight by ten. All right. Tony, I, yep, Tony, I got you covered. Right. Try and keep it in the bubble. Two gauge. The blue meaning. Awesome. Down. Awesome, awesome. And then we'll just put this on here. We'll give that to Mike. Cool. And then Michael. Tony Aragon wants a AEW 8x10 that's not on the website. So, guys, if you want any of these pictures that are not on the website, just put it in the chat. We're going to invoice you. Nice. A George DeHana special. Uh, who's this for, Mike? Um, This one's going to be for Tony Aragon. Tony? Um, Any inscription meaning he wants to write. Okay. I don't think he wants it personalized. Oh, what? yeah. Two Tony. You're right. Two Tony. Tony Aragon. 8 by 10. Tony And we're going to invoice you guys right now for anybody that's ordering stuff that's not on the website. <clears throat> Any Bruce Pritchard stories? Bruce is great, man. Um, give me one second. Here. Yeah. I don't want to mess this up. So if I talk and I write at the same time, I end up writing the things I'm talking about. <laughs> I've done that. Um, 
Bruce is great. He uh, he was the guy who called me from WWE to, to hire me. And uh, I got uh, the joy of telling him this story. He called me to hire me for WWE. Right. I hung up the phone, walked 20 feet from my living room, and told my mom and grandma to put all the bills in my name. And uh, That is awesome. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, and they're like, why? I was like, I just went to WWE. And, you know, even when Bruce had the unfortunate job of firing me, uh, he was very cool about it. Did he go, I love you, but I got bad news? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you yeah, know. Oh, no. <laughs> him and Tom always did great Piper in person. Oh, the best. But uh, he called me to, to let me go. He said, hey, man, uh, if you ever need me to give you a referen uh, re reference to work anywhere else, I will gladly put my name to you. So, you know, Bruce is a great guy. He misunderstood, you know. Cause right. Because he's, he's got the unfortunate job of, being a higher fire guy and sometimes he has to bring the bad news to people. You know? Right. But that that's ultimately what your job is in wrestling to get you get hired to get fired eventually. So we're gonna do one for Chris Annis. Sure. We're gonna write two Chris. Two Chris. I don't wanna repeat this if you could read it. Okay. So there yeah. you go. Just so you know, we're, me and him are okay. I should start selling those eight by tens of me and JBL. And oh, do you have eight by tens from that match? Not the match, but oh. like I mean him, like right. Because that's actually cool. Now. Who's this for? Two, Chris Annis. Two, uh, the full name or just, uh, just two Chris? Yep, two Chris. Somebody wants to know where oh, I'll, I'll answer afterwards. Where they get the Mania shirt? Uh, this one I'm wearing now. Yep. Go to prowrestlingtees.com. Slash Mind of the Meanie. That's my podcast. We have this one on there. And then we have a, a Mind of the Meanie. I mean, a, a Meanie Meanie shirt. That's kind of like the, the current logo. But this one specifically. ProWrestlingTees.com slash Mind of the Meanie. That's my podcast website. Uh, there you go. And you can get them any sizes from uh, medium to 5X, whatever you want. Nick Jones, I just got here. I didn't hear the stuff that's not on the site. So we'll go through it again, guys. Sure. This is stuff that's not on the website. We have one of these figures. We got like four left, five left. These are $80 if you want one. Just say Legends figure sold. It's signed by the Blue Meanie. These are awesome figures. Those were set with uh, Just Incredible, New Jack, and Jim Cornette, son of a bitch. Goddamn cheeseburger. <laughs> we got a... Uh, the Blue Meanie Micro Brawlers. These are not on the website. These are rare. These are 60 bucks. Super rare. Then my, uh, we've got some other 8x10s to show you, too. These are not on the website. This is uh, George Napolitano special. He, he was kind enough to gift me this photo. Uh, this is at MLW at the uh, ECW 2300 Arena. Uh, over here, we have my one and only uh, AEW appearance. It was October... 2021 maybe something like that it's definitely october was that philly philly okay leah core center uh this is george sahana's special he's very kind to give me that uh who called you for that to book you christopher daniels alex marvez alex did okay me and alex go back to the ecw days he yep. would, you know and uh, they had an idea and cool it was very cool. I spent time with Alex in Florida. I went to his house when I was like 16, and then he came up here, and we did backyard wrestling. I have it on video and everything. Best of both worlds is Alex, because I love pro football. I love pro yeah, wrestling. Yeah, he was a writer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one is uh, done by my good friend Nick Clark uh, at WrestlePop721 on Instagram. He did this one for me. Very cool, like comic book style artwork. Sorry for touching your knee. I, I just touched his knee by accident, guys. Stop. Go ahead. Stop. Give me a half hour to stop that. Yeah. Uh, and this is another Nick Clark special, uh, WrestlePop721 on Instagram. Uh, the Speech Bubble Blue Meanie. When you're an Alex Marvez fact, so when I stayed at his house, I still remember this today, I saw a license to drive with him with Corey Heyman, Corey Feldman. How random is that? Isn't that weird? Dude, yeah. That's, that's like awesome. way back in the day. Oh, and, uh, oh yeah, the ring-worn stuff. Check out the ring-worn items, guys. Ring uh, I wore this on the last, one of the last uh, Ring of Honor pay-per-views, you know, pre-Tony Khan era. Uh, I was a special uh, guest appearance, me, Gangrel, and a few other guys. I've worn this as recently as last week's MLW show on their, their pay-per-view in, up in New York. But I've worn this on TV a bunch of times. If you want this photo, 
I mean, if you want this shirt, I'll throw in this photo of me wearing the photo as a combo, no extra charge. Uh, very cool shirt, very significant shirt. Uh, and very significant as well are these ring-worn shooter boots, as I call them. Yeah. I wore these from 2006 until, you know, because I, I, I was wearing those high-top Magnum boots that everybody was wearing at the same time, but... I wanted to look a little bit taller, so I got a little bit of a shorter shoe. When you wear a shorter shoe, your leg looks taller. Right. Longer, you look taller. Trade secrets. But, uh, yeah, I wore these in the ring plenty of times. Uh, for over well over 10 years, I wore these. So, And uh, got the blue laces and everything. So We're looking to get 250 for the sneaks and 200 for the shirt, which is a steal if anybody wants them. Yes. They'll sign them, whatever you want on there. Yep. All right, let's see. So that's all the stuff, Nick Jones, that's not on the website. Somebody asked you uh, your memories of the very first ECW one-night stand. It was great. I mean, obviously, I had the issue with JBL, but it was still, even without that, it, I mean, it was still, it was a magical time. Uh, it's funny, they start announcing stuff for the show, and I'm like, man, they haven't called me yet. And then Dreamer calls me like two weeks before. He's like, we, we didn't have your number on file. I was like, oh, well, good. <laughs> But uh, it was very cool. I mean, it was like a high school reunion, you know, just to be with all those guys again. And then, uh, you know, it kind of helped revitalize my career because I was kind of like in pro wrestling limbo at that time, you know, and uh, with other stuff that was going on. But uh, some, it was a horrible thing to happen. But the good that came out of it was it helped me realize how many people care, how much people cared about me and people, you know, stuck up for me. I, re I learned who my friends were. I learned who my friends weren't. Yep. And, uh, but, you know, all these years later, you know, um, you know, people still talk about it, but it was, it is what it is. We're going to do a micro brawler sure. for Nick Jones. Nick Jones. Uh, just signed? Yeah. For the picture, he, he's going to get the comic picture. Picture, I can't even speak today. That one we're going to personalize and sign. So, uh, an 8x10 and a yep. micro brawler. You Let me it. do this first. Okay. Yeah. I do try to do too much at one time. Yep. Nick, what's, we're gonna invoice you. What's cool about this, Nick, is uh, they don't when they make their micro brawls, they don't use this packaging anymore. And the photo is what I was supposed to be, as opposed to what they actually did. <laughs> they're right. Like, they're like, oh, we kind of goofed. So these are kind of super rare. So let me sign that first. Crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> And then the speech bubble to Nick. Yep, to Nick and anything you want to write. Okay. Anybody else want a micro brawl or get them while they're hot? Very while, hard while, to get. While I have them and get them, you're getting them right from the source. You're not buying it from somebody who's, you know, trying to make a, a dollar or something. Let me see. Uh, B -W -O Amor, I'll ask that question when he's done signing this. Carlos, I'll ask that question as well. Uh, sometimes you gotta go outside the speech bubble. <laughs> <laughs> to Nick, BWO for life. Awesome. All right. Jones. Who's the stiffest guy you've been in the ring with? Woo. Um. They're stiff and then they're snug. Right. Um. I love them too, but uh, Gangrel's a little tight. Really. Yeah. And huh. we, uh, there's a match. It's on YouTube. I wrestled the Gangrel. It might have been one of those shotguns or whatever those shows. And he's he's throwing he's throwing punches. He's kicking me. I went, all oh, Japan. Oh, UFC. <laughs> and, he's, and he's like, stop it. You know, he's telling me to stop. You know, I'm trying to pop him while he's right. hit me. But, you know, it, it was a little snug. You, you, you knew he was there. It was uh, a TV, obviously. That's why. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. TV, they work a little bit tighter because cameras are so good now. They catch yep. any daylight, you know, any, you know, space between. But Gangrel, I love him to death. Uh, one of my favorite human beings. But in the ring, you know, I was like, I owe you money? What, what the <laughs> fuck? I love Gangrel. He's great. Members of ECW invading Raw in Manhattan. Dude, I was just talking about that. That was a special night. That the anniversary just passed. Yeah. USA Network tweeted out a, a I saw your picture. It was everywhere. It was awesome. It was insane that they picked my photo, the USA Network. But uh what was cool about that, it was the week before, Jerry Lawler, there's a fan behind Jerry Lawler and Raw holding up B sign, he rips it down, this and that. Right. Then Paul calls in, 
somehow they got a, a line to the booth, right? Right. And he's like, he's like, me and my, me and ECW will be there next week. And Jerry Lawler goes, what are you going to do? Bring the blue meanie? <laughs> I'm sitting in my living room in, in South Philly. I'm like, did he just say my name? I was like, <laughs> all right. So <laughs> the next week, we all meet, uh, me and Stevie meet up at Raven's house. Me, Stevie, and Raven drive up to Dreamer. And then, like, we did this whole caravan from Tommy Dreamer's house down to the Manhattan Center. And we park in the garage next door. And as we, we're, we're coming out, people are already lined up to go in that night. And you saw the, you know, Mary Kate was out there. Oh, yeah. A whole bunch, the whole ECW crew. And we got, like, this chant, you know, just walk into the building. Was, and we had our ECW uh, jackets with the, the, the red jackets with the black leather. So we looked, looked like a bunch of, like, uh, we looked like a football team walking in there. So we get in there, right? And we're, uh, they're like, okay, here's where's your locker room. You know, they tell us where the locker room is. We go up there. There's no locker room. Taz starts freaking out. Taz goes, brother, they're ribbing us already, brother. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we get to catering. We go around, say my hellos. Met the Godwins, who I love. Um, get to catering. Dreamer comes up to me. He goes, Annie, huh. I, I can't keep my game face. I was like, what? What's up? He's like, <laughs> Because they have cheesecake. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we go to, and this, this I pop myself every time. I had the BWO theme, which at the time, uh, my friend Joey Campbell uh, wrote and gave me the song. And I go up to a production guy with a ta- audio tape like I'm at an indie show. Uh, side one, please. <laughs> uh, first song, side one. And uh, it was pretty cool. You know, we... Lo- they had to sneak us, you know, because we don't, we came through the crowd. Right. So we had to learn how to go underneath the, you know, if you're watching Raw, there's those bleachers. We walked underneath There was the a bleachers. staircase there. Yeah. We walked underneath and walked into a product. Duh, you were with me. Yeah. I, I was in the car ride and everything. Jeez. I, <laughs> I didn't want to say what anything. What a wig makes me forget about it. No. Yeah. I filmed, I, I filmed everything backstage too. Yeah. It's you, on the BWO video. Dude. <laughs> it's okay. You were with me. I'm talking to you like, I, Jesus. Right. I was in the car you're and addre- everything. You're addressing the fans. Yeah, yeah. they don't know. They right, don't know. Right, 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 right. But, uh, <laughs> and you, I, dude, I was blown up just from nerves. But, uh, and we were in, remember we were in the production area and they're yes. like, what are you guys doing in here? We, yes. We got to go out that door. Sorry. And yes, we come back and just. Do you remember uh, Tammy and Lawler in this little small room just hanging out? There there was like, no, no, no nothing going on at all. But it was Lawler and Tammy. And they were doing something in there. I don't remember, but there everyone from that couldn't fit in the other room was hanging in that room too. Yeah, I yeah. I'll, I'll remember that. Yeah. I just uh, remember taking it all in. You know, meeting Vince Russo for the first time. And then the cool. end, we the handshake with Vince. It was like meeting the Pope. It was. We all lined up, and uh, Paul goes, uh, "Vince, this is the blue meanie." <laughs> and he goes, "Ha ha, meanie," and shakes my hand. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's it kind of like meeting the Pope, and then like they. At the end of the show, when uh, Paul and Lawler had that little skirmish, yep. Vince says something to Lawler. He's like, oh, well, you think they're going to bring the blue meanie back out here for you? I'm like, <laughs> why do they keep ringing up my name? <laughs> That's awesome, though. It's all, Yeah, they, he could have said any name. But <laughs> we were just recently re- re-watching that, and I was just like, he said my name again. That's awesome. Kenny wanted to see this. Kenny, here's that picture. Yeah. Uh, it's not on the website. If you want it, Kenny, just let us know. We'll invoice you for it. That art was done specially for me so it's it's do you remember afterwards uh we all went out to pizza with paul yeah yeah he took us to a pizza place and then he goes anything's on me except rob you're paying for your own food <laughs> <laughs> what a rib yeah so again anybody great, want one man. let me know he's the best he's he, the best he, he so deserves to go i'm surprised he's awesome I, i'm surprised he accepted it because knowing paul he's probably like i'm not done yet right you know he probably thinks he's good for another 20 30 years 100 you know? percent like the three wise men, you know. If anybody else wants an eight by ten, let me know. Well, here is the time to order. We got ring worn items too that is, is very cheap. Yeah. Also, you got it, Kenny. We'll get one out to you. Got a uh, mini Simmons, glossy eight by ten, and uh, I got a. Is your website that doesn't work anymore? Yeah, yeah, the website that was stolen from me. Uh, Steve Richards and Blue Mini, black and white eight by ten. All right, we're going to do a cartoon one for Kenny. Nice. And we're going to say, uh, inscribe to the Tan family, BWO for life. To the T-A-N? Yep, to the Tan family. 
said on there. Oh, I see it. Yep. Okay. BWO for life. And Joe's going to invoice you, Kenny, so. If anybody else wants to order anything, now's the time to do so. we got about 10 minutes left. Get your orders in, because Meaty's got a big dinner date to go on with his girlfriend. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. No, just thinking of the cheesecake. They're... they're uh... Their menus are like the phone book. I've never Do, been there. You've Is never been? been? Here? Maybe we should go now. Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's far. <laughs> you go to Monster Mania. It's right across the street. Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, I got a date for that Ring of Honor. Not like it matters. Oh, uh, the for the shirt? Were, yeah. yeah. What is it? So it was uh, it was recorded on February 9th, 2020. Okay. And I found that out because we went to the XFL game that opened the season the day yes, before. Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here, Mike, you, you also need this Nick Jones tag. And that was before was like everything one, shut down. It was for yeah. one before? Yeah. All right. And we saw, uh, but it aired, it aired February 21st, 2020. Gotcha. Thank you. Anybody have any other questions for the blue guy? Anybody want to get anything signed? We got figures, 8x10s, posters, you name it. Yeah, man. This might, I only got a little bit of those micro brawlers left, so if you want to get $60. There. And again, the sneakers. Yeah. and uh, The shirt, ring-worn shirt. <clears throat> 200 bucks. Yep. Signed uh, however you like it. I'll put it on me like that. We could probably get it framed for you, too. <clears throat> How much would it cost to get it framed if somebody wanted the shirt and the eight by ten, Mike? What? If we wanted to get that framed for them? The shirt? Yeah. Uh that'd probably be like sixty dollars. Okay. Yeah. So if anybody wanted to get it framed, it would be an extra sixty bucks. You don't have to get it framed though. But it is perfect for frame. Yeah. What's your favorite Asian food? Somebody asked. Oh, uh always get the cashew chicken. But uh if I'm doing Thai food Kid Cash chicken? <laughs> yeah. Uh, chicken pad thai, I love. Right. But uh, there isn't much food I, I hate, obviously. But, you know, yeah. except for, you know, when my grandfather used to try and give me liver and onions as a kid. Oh, uh, that's bad. That's yeah. bad. And fish fillet. Yeah. But uh, McDonald's fish fillet? No, it was like during the land and they would cook the fish you know, whatever whatever kind of fish he used it soft ben what's good i like fish now but whatever right. he cooked got me some heat with some fish somebody asked you if you have any insider shirts from the 90s no i should get those done though have you ever made it, I, stevie made a run of them let's call stevie maybe he'll pick up yeah, i'm just joking yeah, good luck. i've emailed him and just no sells me constantly now i love stevie but i think he's uh i think he's finished with Rob he's Stone. become a recluse you versus Nova, who wins? Uh, probably Nova. I, <laughs> I don't care about doing the job. <laughs> uh, Brian wants to know if you have any... Oh, we talked about... No, we didn't talk about this. Very first CW pay-per-view. Memories? Man, oh, dude. Barely legal. The, the, the fact that it almost didn't happen. And then uh, we kind of didn't think it was going to happen until we showed up that day. Yeah. Even the night it's before... so crazy. Even the night before at the Terry Funk Banquet, we're like... All right, and then we show it up, and there's all professional lights. Chuck outside. They painted the floor. We're like, oh my god, they painted the floor. Yeah. You know? And uh, Barry Barry Blaustein's, uh they were there recording Beyond the Mat there, and uh, it was so cool. And um, I just remember going out there, and Todd Gordon running around the ring. So I go. Go home, go home. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. <laughs> and he's yelling at me, and I'm trying to yell to the ref, and the ref's telling him in the ring. Yeah, if you watch, you see Todd Gordon come around and tell him to go home. <laughs> tell him to go home. We're running out of time. That voice is the best. Yeah. Somebody get a doctor. <laughs> I used to hear that all the time. It's like a big flashback. Holy shit. Uh, who was laid out in the locker room? He goes, get a doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. That's from TV. Yeah. Get yeah, a yeah. doctor. <laughs> yes. Get a doctor. Oh. Todd Gordon's book's amazing too. I, I reckon I got the audio book version. I need to get the audio book. I j Sean Oliver reads it. Does a great job. Mm -hmm. uh, I joined the Audible. Right. Like you pay X amount a month and you get like a credit toward the book. I got like eight credits. Still. Oh wow. I got a. I got just got Todd Gordon's book. <laughs> uh, this is a random. 
Alex says, Blue Meanie, role play. You're contacted by Triple H, and Triple H says, Hey, Meanie, you want to come over to WWE TV and do a match with Karrion Cross? What will you say? I'm available. There I you like go. that how you wrote Triple H, and then he put H H H. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, pay me, pay me. Yeah. Guys, I love Karrion Cross, by the way. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. Amazing guy. Beautiful girlfriend. Huge ECW fan. Yep. Huge ECW fan and uh, very respectful. You know, it's it's cool when like a younger talent like him comes up to me and asks for advice, and I'm just like, I don't know what to tell you, man. You're pretty good, but you follow uh, Ryback's Twitter at all? <laughs> I try. I, I bro, we, we, I follow him, dude. I now? just all right. We got a bid on the uh, ring worn T shirt for two hundred bucks. Nice. So, so I wrote him the other day. I had no bad experience with this guy. I booked him for Dreamer shows. Yes. Like zero incidents. Flew him in, paid him, we're friends. Nothing ever happened between us. I wrote him two days ago, three days ago. I texted him. I said, hey, bro, I want to bring you in for a shoot interview and a, a virtual signing, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know what he wrote me back? Fuck off, loser. <laughs> I'm like, so look, this is my response to him. You're going to pop huge. <laughs> I like, you know who, he reminds me of the uh, cartoon wrestler Bugs Bunny fought. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So I wrote back, back to him. Look at that. Yeah, that's whatever. That's the only way yeah, you, you. I didn't you do it. Should have heard about what we were saying about you on the way over. The you heart. son of a bitch! <laughs> oh man. Einstein. <laughs> All right, Michael Escobar. What do you want written on there? Moving on. <laughs> What's that? That's my question. What's your question? Oh no. Your question. Oh, thoughts on a match between The Rock and Pharaoh. Pharaoh. <laughs> oh, what? what? The dog. Cody's dog. Who do you think would win between The Rock and Cody's dog? I mean, dog, right? You, <laughs> you got to do a spot with the dog where he bites him. You can't hit a dog. Right. Because even if you hit the dog, a bunch of dog lovers are going to come out and want to fight you. I think Cody's dog is going to take a shit in The Rock's bag. That's what they got to they gotta do that spot. Like, they'll be backstage. They can't do shit. I don't think, I don't well, think oh, they, they can't do anymore. shit. <laughs> they can't do any shit spots yeah. because of everything that's going on. So. Who? Scratch the shit spot. I don't think we do that anymore. Oh, uh, when I, oh, here, speaking of shit. Right. So I'll go to WWE and I, uh, accidentally, uh, they give me a first class ticket, right? I don't know what the fuck to do. So long story short, you know, I'm riding with, is me, McFoley, Al, and Bob Holly riding. Oh, what a car. I was like, guys, did I fuck up? Did I, did I do something wrong? Man, is somebody going to shit my bag? And Bob Holly goes, I don't think we shit bags anymore. <laughs> uh, like, oh, well, that's a relief. <laughs> that's My prediction for WrestleMania, Rock is working on Cody's side as a double agent. Everyone's saying that. He's working. Because if you see him put the, the hand up, right. and he, he puts the L out. Right. It, yeah. the, the first time he did the L, then he had the finger, and then he put the L out, and they put it back. And the time he had the L out, you see Paul Heyman staring at him. And yeah. Rock, and when The Rock said, you're, go you're going to lose, he uh, pointed to Roman. Yeah. When he said, Cody, you're going to lose. Yeah, the way they Roman. framed it. Yeah. Blue Meanie's got graphs and shit on the wall. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like Charlie really, from Always Sunny. Yeah. This is, he's really into this more than usual. Yeah. Yeah, it could, it's, it's good storytelling. But. I don't know. Rock's doing that. I'm on the board. I, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Triple H laid it out a few weeks ago. I am the law. This, that, and the other thing. So he's letting The Rock come out say this, that, and the other thing. I'm waiting for Triple H to come out and say something he, about that. He's going to come out. He's But they laid the seeds a couple weeks ago. Yes. So when they, you know, when you go back and watch all this, they're going to do the... the, the yes. The mon you got to have Scooby a Doom. montage. Right. Yeah. They're going to have the montage. Triple H is going to come out and confront The Rock. But that's probably going to be the go-home leading up. Yeah. The, the, the go-home leading up to... So when does the glass break? It was. I would. It should have broke with CM Punk, but I. I, I was thinking. I think I. I could have sworn Austin was coming back to wrestle Punk, but yeah. I don't know. I don't if know he, if he's still willing to do something. He could be on Cody's side too. They to, to keep the bloodline out. That's what I said. I said I that think they. He could be another one. Another guy that he talked to, other than The Rock. Yeah. And he was like, "Don't let Rock take your spot. Whatever yeah. you do, do not let him take your spot." And that's Hell, son. I think Bloodline could attack Seth way before the match, take him out, and he doesn't have a partner. Glass breaks. It's Steve Austin. That's a good. Or that's Randy. Good. I, I think. The, I, Steve. 
I mean, I would like either one, Randy, but he's yeah. the history of Randy. Yeah, yeah. Or Ro- Dustin. Ro- Rock laid those seats, you know, a couple weeks ago, you know, however long ago he goes, where he says he's the head of the table. And then, you know, he comes out, whispers in Cody's ear, and Cody's just like, hmm. Right. And Cody keeps alluding to what Rock said to him, but he hasn't said what he said to him yet. And Rock hasn't done... He keeps done... getting cut off right before he says it. Right. And Rock hasn't done anything super heelish yet. Like, he's... No. Oh, he the slap is a slap. Himself. That's it. He keeps Dude. repeating himself. Right. But the thing is, like, he's like, oh, look at Solo over here. This is his happy face. You should hear him sing That's and all this stuff. And he's kind of, like, taking the piss out of the bloodline without... But last week when, you know, Roman stopped his hand and told him yeah. to acknowledge him, and that stare... Rock gave him the stare like, I don't want to ruin. I I, I got to oh, stay, man. you know, on Cody's side. I think he's going to help Cody. Yeah. I think the Rock is there to help Cody. I like him as a heel. He I put really... over Cody's dad last night, yeah. you know. Yeah, I saw and that. Brother, and yeah, Dustin. Yes. Yes. Like... yes. Oh, I do have a, a print from Matt DeZorzum to get signed. It's uh, I don't know if it's down here. It might be upstairs on the dog's cage, Mike. Uh, I'll give you my the last name, DZ. And then you can just bring it down here. It's an art print for. Upstairs. Yeah, it should be because it was ma- mailed in for a big event. Matt, do you want his spelling? All right. <laughs> yep, Matt, we're getting that right now. I'm glad you came in the room. Nice. Meany, if you were inducted into the Hall of Fame, this is my dream scenario. Uh, almost imposing size could be a co- comedic foil for the Blue Meanie's antics. The Blue Meanie could try to ride almost like a pool. Attempt to give him a piggyback ride or launch into the crowd by almost, yeah. almost. Uh, all right. I would love to do it. Uh, I have the mother of all speeches prepared in case, but... Michael Escobar, let me know what you want. Oh. Okay, he does. He wrote it here. Blue Meanie and BWO for life. On the shirt? Yeah, on the shirt. And then I'll throw in the 8x10 as well, as a bonus. So all you right. can have a... Fo- you- if you want to frame the shirt, you can put the eight by ten next to because these are the, this is the same shirt. There you go, Michael. We're gonna do that now, and I think we just went. Oh, you want it framed too? Not a problem. Awesome. Yep, I'll tell Mike. We'll get it framed for you. So, um, um, I forgot what I, what did I say the frame was gonna cost? Do you remember? Sixty. Okay. Mike, the frame for the shirt was sixty bucks. Yeah. So, uh, I might need some hands over yep, here. Yep, we'll stretch it out. Yeah. Uh, what color? Um, what cover? Sil- silver, you think, Mike? Yeah, silver. We'll do silver. I got your picture, Matt. And you just got to bring that back upstairs after he signs it, because that's got to go for... Yeah, if we can all stretch it. Yeah, just... yeah, I'm going to sign it across here, but uh, what's the verbiage again? Um, one second, let's see. BWO for life and sign it. To, to, to him? Um, just, no, just, you're going to not personalize. Okay. B- yeah, BWO for life. Okay. And then we'll just sign it. <laughs> um, how much was it, Mike, to get si- uh, framed? 60 without a plate. Okay. Do you want a plate with it? A nameplate too? So it would be like $10 extra. It would be 70 bucks for a nameplate, Mike. Let me know. BWO for life, the blue mini. There's that. I'm going to throw in an 8x10. That'd right, be 270. But mini only gets the two. So let me know, Joe, Joe, if you're watching, when you invoice Michael Escobar, his total is going to be 270. And it's getting framed, but mini only gets 200. I'm going to sign the photo to Michael. Right? Okay, yeah, that's cool. Just text me. Do, do, do. Joe, where you at? All right. Anybody else, guys? And last call for 8x10s. Last call for micro brawlers. We still have Blue Meanie's uh, ring worn shoes here. For two fifty, if anybody wants them, let me bring these over so they can see them. Yep, they're two fifty. We'll out sign of both. Out of mine. Yeah, and we got these available for eighty bucks. And we got a couple other eight by tens as well. Oh, well, who am I signing this? <laughs> well, Meanie go see Dune two with me. Uh, probably not. Do you see Dune part uh, one? I saw the popcorn bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yep. We're just gonna sign that anywhere where you are at on that yeah, poster. Right there. I'm bleeding. <laughs> Thank you.
It's a great print. Rob, can K get the artwork 11 by 17 of Meanie? Just invoice me. We'll pay later today if you don't mind. Can K? Who's K? Can, wait, Rob, can K? I don't get that. No, I... Can I get the artwork 11 by 17 of Meanie? Just invoice me today. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, no problem. I think we already invoiced you. You're already on our spreadsheet and paid for it, though. I think you already paid for it, Erica. I don't understand your question, but... Anybody else? Anybody else want an 8x10? Last call for alcohol. Shoes. Last call for shoes, guys. 250 for the shoes. Custom art. We got some 8x10s that are not on the website. These are all 20 bucks each. All the ones he's holding up now. One from AEW, one from MLW. Yep. Uh, George Napolitano, George Tejinos. I'll take uh, Napolitano over Tejinos any day of the week. <laughs> Here's a... Uh... Meanie Simmons. Meanie Simmons. And then... These are not on the website, guys. Stevie and Meanie. Th these were taken at the uh, office of the Pro SNL. Old school shots right there. And then... Oh, yeah. Let me get another microphone. All right. Somebody bought one? No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Just... just gotcha. Show. I only have a few of these left. Oh, Erica wants an art. Okay, so we're going to invoice you for an art one. You got it, Erica. Joe will invoice you. Erica, we'll do an art one with that bubble, right? Art of Meanie. Erica, Miranda, 8 by 10 20 bucks. Um, what do you want on it, Erica? What do you want on it? Did she want to, or did she want the 11 by 17? Oh, Rob, oh, 11 by 17. Yep. How much are 11 by 17s, Mike? 30? Oh, 35 bucks. I got you. Erica, where's Joe putting it at? Yep, $35. Joe, are you putting that on there? Because I see you're working on something. I don't want to mess it up if you're... I'll put it on here. 35 Erica Miranda in white paint pen. Okay. 11 by 14. You got it. 11 by 17. I'm sorry. 11 by 17 one. To Erica. Oh, Joe already put it up on there. Too, uh, personalized, right? Um, I don't want to mess this up. Erica, do you want an inscription on there? Do you want it personalized? What's that? Who won, who won the uh, shirt? Michael Escobar. I'm giving you. It's going to get framed. Erica, do you want it personalized or no? Did she get the other one personalized? I don't think so. Somebody says they want a mini Simmons. Okay, we'll get that. That's for Nick Jones. Nick Jones. $20. Nick Jones. 8 by 10 Mini Simmons. All right, we'll get that in a second. What podcast do you listen to? Uh, for headlines. <laughs> uh, oh, BWO. For, I'll get to the question in a second. BWO for life and signature. Thank you, Erica. And that's it. No way to Erica. And then, no, no to Erica. Okay. And then you're just going to sign it. Just double checking. Yep. Cool. Joe, hopefully you're keeping up on all these and you're invoicing everybody. I'm sure you are. That light looks good. Mm -hmm. It does. You should listen to this podcast called uh, Hardcore Headlines. Oh, they, yeah. They just, <laughs> this guy's got a new... Uh, yeah. I just did an interview with uh, Lex Luger on Friday. That's awesome. we got to get you on. We'll yeah, get you on. Stinks. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I have my own... No, uh, I... I have my own... Uh, <laughs> I just heard that. I have my own little podcast oh, studio myself, so... Where do you... I've seen your podcast. I watched your podcast before. It's funny. Thank you. Oh. What's that? For Erica? Erica? Yeah, I'm just making sure Joe's invoicing her, too. Because he has it checked off like she already paid. Oh, and uh, Meanie Simmons? No, it's 35, not 30, Joe. Let me just... Yep. Erica. Thanks, Erica. Miranda. And then... Meanie Simmons is for Nick. For Nick. Um, I'll do the Meanie Simmons personalized. Any inscription you want. So, to Nick, any inscription you want. No. <laughs> Wiener. Are you planning on coming to the River City Con in June in St. Augustine? I don't even know about it. I'm not booked, Terry. 
Oh, God damn it. Where is he at? I thought you were excited to be going then. What? Because I was just excited. <laughs> we weren't invited. It's the River City Comic Con. We weren't invited. We're never invited. So it says, uh, so you can understand my handwriting. Okay. To Nick, keep rocking the blue meanie, a.k.a. Meanie Simmons, with a little dollar sign in the S. Yes. <laughs> There you go. You're go Were you stuck in that line for five hours yesterday with Mike? Yes. When we first got there, the guy told us it was going to be 30 minutes to 45 minutes. We were there for five hours. It was hard. That's why we charge so much to get stuff signed at privates. So um, I have a friend who's in a band. Right. And they were doing something, and Gene Simmons was the host. And one of Gene's, Gene's caveats is, please don't play any Kiss songs to the bands. Right. The guy go, takes out a $5 bill goes, can we do Detroit Rock City? He takes the $5 bill and goes, you may do Ro Detroit Rock City. <laughs> what? He's going to take it and sing That's that. awesome. And he said, never underestimate the power of $5. Wow. Five yeah. bucks. Yeah, five bucks. Oh, my God. So we we got to put over the podcast that we listen to. Well, uh, we watch we watch stories with Briscoe and Bradshaw. That we watch really stories good. with Briscoe and Br I like podcasts that have videos. Right. I love Jeff Jarrett's podcast. I like it too with Conrad. It's yeah, great. I, I, all of the Conrad stuff. I subscribe stuff. to Ad Free. I love Road Dog just canceled his. Road Dog was probably my favorite, and he just had to it could, just because his schedule. He just got new promotions. What's so. Road Dog talking about? Uh, they they'll do a show and a subject. And, right. Uh, they what I love about it is him and uh, Casio. They have these crazy sidebar conversations. Sometimes they don't even talk about, it. and it's just great. They just giggle like. Do you listen to Cornette? I listen to oh, I, I listen I listen I listen to the clips. Right, same here. I listen to yeah, clips too. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I, I subscribe to the YouTube and I'll listen to the certain oh, things. And and not not wrestling. We listen to uh, Fly on the Wall. It's uh, David Spade and Dana Carvey. And yes. they I think I I, saw, I watch some of that here and there. Interview, clips. They interview uh, Saturday Night Live. Yeah, comedians, like guests, and stuff that were on. And yeah, yeah. It's, do it's podcasts. Cool. I do a lot of audio books. Guests. Hmm. Yeah. And doozy. Doozy. If it, it's not a wrestling podcast, but Will Sasso is a huge wrestling fan. And, and he doesn't shut up about it. Yeah, he'll do like Hulk Hogan and uh, everything. But uh, Will Sasso, he talks about wrestling. Right. Even though it's not a wrestling podcast, he does. But doozy. Uh, it's real weird. It's 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 a it's a podcast that's run by an AI. Right. And it this shows. You know, booked by an AI. It's given certain <laughs> topics. But he'll go on a 20-minute tangent as like Hulk Hogan. Well, you know something, brother. And he just... That's my, weird. He'll do... He'll do... Uh, he'll read like his own diary... A fake diary as Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it's just... It's, a, it's hilarious. It's a great venture. Pots on Wendy's surge pricing. <laughs> you tell me, bro. <laughs> that, that's no longer happening. Oh, yeah. There's Nick Jones. Uh, Will du Sasso does an amazing Jesse Ventura. He, uh, oh, I've heard of that guy. Yeah, Will Sasso. Okay, I know who that is. Will Sasso had brought on Karrion Cross, and they did Dueling J as Jesse That's Ventura's. That's awesome. They did Dueling Jesse Ventura's. That's awesome. It's awesome. Well, guys, it's been real. Does anybody want to get anything what? before our last couple of minutes before we last ride off? We still got the sneakers, guys. We got micro brawlers. Sneakers for $250. Micro brawlers for $60. Bucks. Yeah, the micro brawlers are a good deal. Again, they're rare. You can't get them anywhere. And you're getting them right from me. You're getting signed right from me. Uh, you're not getting hosed on it. On, yeah, there's people are selling these at like st stupid high prices. You're getting them from me at, at a reasonable price and signed from me. So, and the boots, the shooter boots, what I call them, ring worn. I'll sign them however you like. All right. Thank you, Nick. Anybody else? Last call, guys. For real. Another minute until we. Sign off. Another minute left. Thank you, Joe. Thanks thanks for everybody who's here. Uh, if I can take a last few minutes to... Definitely. Uh, Mind of the Meanie, my podcast, drops every Monday morning wherever you're listening to your favorite podcast. Uh, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Mind of the Meanie, where you can watch us record it every... Uh, we usually record Fridays and Saturdays. You can Just 10 bucks, you can watch us record. Uh, ProSNTs.com slash Blue Meanie. 
ProWrestlingTees.com slash MindOfTheMeanie. You get this uh, Meanie Mania shirt on there. Uh, and uh, Cameo.com slash Blue Meanie BWO. So, uh, that's, and Meanie Mania. Thursday, April 4th, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. Come hang out with the Blue Meanie. No pressure. Doesn't cost nothing to come in. Uh, hang out. Let's talk wrestling. Let's have a couple drinks. Make sure you hold your calls. Hold my calls. Let's make sure we got everything here. All right. You, we did the Nick Jones 8x10 eight, eight for Meanie, right? The Meanie Simmons? Did we yeah. do his? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Tomorrow's show, we go live at 4 o'clock. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, thank you, Phil, for reminding me. Tomorrow we'll be live at 4 o'clock. We'll be selling all the Chucky stuff and lots of wrestling stuff as Perfect. well. All right. Thank you, guys. See everybody tomorrow at 4 p.m.